Beholder of Gravity. For this quest, you will need some motorized transport, like a car or a motorcycle. It is recommended that you take with you at least ten physical objects, because this holder is very unpleasant with newcomer seekers. Go to any field that has a crop circle traced in its surface. Head to the center of the area and sit there. Wait until the sun set, and when the sun is no longer visible, whisper to the air. I wish to see the holder of gravity. If nothing happens, then you must leave the field, leaving behind one of your objects, in order to deflect attention from the unfathomable horrors that will try to haunt you. Maybe you lost that object, and you must claim it again from its holder, but you will be safe for now. Perhaps you should do this several times. Otherwise, if you caught the holder's interest, you should begin to levitate some inches off the ground. Drop the objects softly, and then you will ascend to a constant velocity. You will elevate for several hours, feeling the pressure differences at each altitude. Your heart pumping faster, your breath less comfortable, but you must be calm all the time. If you show a minimal sign of discomfort or distress, you will be dropped, with the gravity increased fifty times, going down into the ground to subsequently reach the very center of the Earth. Being melted and crushed by the unmeasurable force of gravity over you, and the intense heat, without ever being granted the chance of death. Stay calm, and eventually you will reach the clouds. The clouds will seem to be stratocumulus, but from them will emerge gruesome tentacles and tendons that bind them grotesquely. Close your eyes and count to eleven. If you open them, you will be caught by one of the tentacles and brought into a cloud where you will be torn apart in every possible way, using your flesh and nerves to make more tentacles, binding more hellish clouds until the end of times. If you are successful, then you will find yourself in a great tubular room, geometrically impossible to conceive in our minds as you continue ascending. The windows of this alien room will show panoramic views of the places where you have faced other holders. Some earthly landscapes, strange monuments on foreign worlds, otherworldly worship locations, and an image of your bedroom in real time. Soon, you will see aberrant beings watching these panoramas, completely weightless, and some of the most hideous beasts should pay close attention to your bedroom. You will realize that you have been monitored every night and day since you started your journey. Many seekers fall into madness after witnessing this. If that's the case with you, the beings here will know it. They will come to you, and you will be thrown through a window, reappearing in this location with some strange device implanted in your body. If you are lucky, possibly fall back to Earth, with the memory completely blanked. Eventually you will arrive at the Holder's Lair. It appears to be in outer space, with some giant red stars aligned, attracting and devouring other minor celestial objects. At this time, weightlessness should be affecting you to some degree, but you must resist. Falling unconscious in this realm entails being absorbed by the supermassive black hole above you. Where the holder's arms should be, there will be two tentacles, similar to those you saw in the clouds before. They will be holding you, saving you from being absorbed. Look at the holder's eyes and shout. No force of attraction can be compared with the impressive power of them coming together. He will respond. Here is a sample of their gravity. All your loved ones will appear over you, linked to each other with the tendons you saw in the clouds. 
Then, with a wave of his hand, they all converge before you in a huge singularity, crushing and exploding painfully, converted in a single red marble, which you can reach with your hand. Then he will start to tell you about all the psychic laws in the universe, and how their reunion will distort them, all of this in excruciating detail. You will be instructed in the power of gravity, and how to manipulate it with the marble. However, you will be warned of the consequences of its use. Whenever something is absorbed by the object, its weight, but not its mass, will be added to yours as gravitational force, making it increasingly difficult for you to move or lift objects to the point of overwhelming your body, crushing you eternally. That marble longs to reunite with the others, and converts the entire universe to an infinitesimal singularity. When the holder ends the story, you will be released from his tentacles, reaching the black hole and finally black out. When you wake up, you will notice some bright point in the sky, a supernova. Look at the marble laying among your other objects. Take them and leave as quick as possible. A small meteor hits the field when you find them. With this marble, you will be able to absorb things, including living beings, reducing them to mere dense black matter. But remember the warning that the holder gave you, because that compacted material will be part of you with each use. The objects will orbit around it when they come together, awaiting his arrival. The red marble is object 587 of 2538. Everything falls by its own weight.